It's a lot of hot sauce, guys. It's a lot of hot sauce. All right, thanks for hanging out, guys. I'm Hot Sauce Chunky Tim, and today's show is going to be a sauce review, which I don't have in front of me. You guys watch the show, you can probably see my shelf, one of my shelves of hot sauces. Maybe asking, what's up with that big bottle right down there? I'm talking about this one. Yeah, that's what we're going to review. Hold on, let me get it. This is the Moonshine Hot Sauce. I got this as a gift from the wife. So thank you, wife. Um, I think she knows I like hot sauce um, because it's a whole lot of hot sauce in this bottle. That's all I got to say. I'm very happy. All righty. Moonshine Hot Sauce Growler is the perfect gift for someone who can take the heat. Okay, I can take the heat, right? All right, this growler-shaped jar, or growler-shaped glass jar is filled with moonshine-inspired hot sauce and makes an enticing addition to almost anything you want to kick up the flavor and spice. All right, I'm not going to read all that. You guys can read it. I don't just going to read everything. You guys can see that. Online here, I'm looking at the price. You'd think a bottle this big would be pretty expensive, right? So this is um, available at Walmart. Okay. Walmart, ten bucks. Ten bucks. That's it. Seriously, ten bucks. Wow, that's a low price. I'm sorry. Did you say something about a low price? Cannot go wrong with that. All right, how many ounces is this thing, anyways? Sixty-four fluid ounces. All right, now I got that moonshine. You guys, we're see right here a zero alcohol. So, not to break any hearts out there. Just saying, right? Vegan, no nuts, gluten free, no MSG, fat free. All right. Women owned. So that's why the wife got it for me, huh? Part of the women. Nah, I'm just kidding. No, it actually says it here. Women owned. Hmm. Ah, that's cool. All right, well, let's uh, let's let's check this out here. Get this thing out of here. This is a whole lot of hot sauce, guys. Now, while I'm opening it, like I always say, if you guys have had this hot sauce, drop me a comment down below. Let me know uh, your thoughts, what you thought before and after you uh, tried it, and uh, I'll do the same. Break the seal off of here. I'm smelling vinegar. Right. Almost forgot the spoon. All right. Well, let's check out the consistency beforehand, guys. Probably should have did that first, uh, but oh well. All right, so it's very, very thin. Um, I already opened the bottle, so those there's no flow restrictor. But if there would have been, that probably would have been the world's biggest flow restrictor, right? So the color and consistency reminds me of your basic commercial hot sauce, like you know the Louisiana, the Franks, you know the stuff you see at the grocery store, the regular stuff. Not hating on it, I, I like Franks, but um, that's kind of what it looks like. So let's uh, let's let's give it a go here, guys. All this hot sauce, guys, for ten bucks. You cannot go wrong with that. As long as it tastes good. I'm hot sauce chunky Tim. Let's do this. <clears throat> okay. Lots of vinegar. Ending it, with, ending it with salt. First thing I'm thinking of is dipping sauce for French fries. All right, the flavor, again, is very similar to your basic, regular 
hot sauces that you see at the store. The ones I listed before. <clears throat> Lots of vinegar. All right, let's check out the ingredients. As you can see, you guys, the ingredients are very basic. You have vinegar and aged habanero peppers, salt, and the vegetable blend. That's it. So basic ingredients, which is good. I don't have to show you a whole list to read a bunch of ingredients at all, but I'm getting a lot of vinegar. I'm getting a lot of salt. Slightly burn the back of the throat. It's kind of different for a habanero pepper sauce. Usually habaneros affect my tongue, not my throat. This one's kind of hitting, hitting the back throat a little bit. Um, guys, listen, for 10 bucks, you cannot go wrong. Um, this is a whole lot of sauce for 10 bucks, and it's good. It's good. Like I said, I'm going to say it one more time. It's basically the same stuff that you see everywhere at the grocery store. Your Louisiana stuff, your Franks, I mean, your Tabasco, your, your Sriracha. Right, so if you guys have a Walmart locally by you, go ahead and check it out, guys. It's cheap. It's good. You're going to like it. Um, it's a universal hot sauce, just like they say on the commercial. I put that on everything. You can put this on anything. First, I thought it was dipping sauce for french fries. That's what I'm probably going to use it for. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, heat scale for me, I'll give it a one. I was thinking zero, but I did get a little burn back to throw. It's still kind of lingering back to, so I'll give it a one on a heat scale. Uh, but uh, anyone that likes hot sauce, anyone that uses the, the regular stuff you see, I know I keep saying it, I'm just trying to compare it to you guys. Um, you're gonna you're gonna enjoy this. You're gonna like it. So it's a lot of hot sauce, guys. It's a lot of hot sauce. So I'll thank the wife for getting me this big ass bottle of hot sauce. You rock. You guys rock as well. Till next time, Hot Sauce Chunky Tim and Fino Pepper.